All right, all right, all right. Maybe we got some feel-good news this morning. <laughs> Pelosi evicted. They gave her the boot. Get out. <laughs> this is hysterical. I don't know. I I just think it's so funny. It is so funny. Former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, Democrat California, was ordered to immediately vacate her Capitol Hideaway office by Wednesday (laughs) as she slammed Acting Speaker Patrick McHenry's decision as a sharp departure from tradition. They fast-tracked her an email. They didn't even give her. They didn't even call her. They'd like email her. They emailed Pelosi on Tuesday and said, get out. We're going to rekey that door. We're rekeying it. Get out. You get the boot. This move came after just hours after McHenry was named House Speaker Pro Tempore following the outs of Kevin McCarthy. They, they bred him out of town. Oh, my gosh. Now, this is Pelosi talking here. (laughs) Here's Pelosi in this paragraph. This is her. With all the important decisions that the new Republican leadership must address, which we are all eagerly awaiting, one of the first actions taken by the new Speaker Pro Tempore was to order me to immediately vacate my office? In the Capitol, Pelosi said in a statement. (laughs) Holy smokes. I'm liking this new speaker. Holy smoke. He's like, all right, boys. Get her out of here. That's the first thing I'm doing. It's giving her the boot. Oh, my gosh. That is. Oh, man. That is just too funny. Here she is. She's walking. So, Oh, shit. They're kicking me out. <laughs> no, she's been in California mourning the death of Feinstein, which Feinstein's still in uh, state. Uh, until they have the until they have the funeral, and I think I believe she's going to be giving some uh, some um, she's going to be talk speaking, All right? Yeah, she'll be giving an an eulogy. So so she's in California, you know, waiting to give the eulogy, speaking at uh, Feinstein's funeral, but. The House Minority Leader, Holcomb Jeffrey, staffers helped clean out Pelosi's office late Tuesday. (laughs) Oh, man. Oh, my God. A television and some bags were seen outside the office before they were hauled away. Damn. (laughs) Oh, man. Here's Pelosi talking. Office space doesn't matter to me. Oh, no, but it is the principle of the thing, honey. Okay? It is the principle of the thing. Perception is everything. But it seems to be important to them. (laughs) Important enough to be his first to-do list. He had a checklist. My God. You were at the top? Kick her out? Rekey that office? Yeah. Office space doesn't matter to me, she says. But it seems to be important to them. (laughs) Now that the new Republican leadership has settled this important matter, (laughs) let's hope they get to work on what's truly important for American people. Well, I do, too. I do, too. Now, all seriousness aside, 
Yes. We need to get the bottom of this. Shut that damn border. I don't know why the hell we need a damn vote policy package to send military down there and just get it done. Pelosi was absent when the House uh, voted to remove McCarthy as House Speaker in a vote driven by the members of his own party. Dang. They had them pitchforks and tar and feather him right out of town. So uh, let's see this little this little montage. Vi Look at that face. Mm hmm. You can't keep a good woman down. Mm mm. Mm mm. No, no, you crazy. You crazy. I don't care about that office. I don't care. <laughs> That's not important. What's important to me is screwing over the American people. That's what's important, not that office. Yet I spent taxpayer money to furnish that office. Check this out. Tire. Go paint. Make a quilt for Pete's sake. Leave us alone. And there you go. There you this go. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that lovely? And that.